In this lesson, we are going to take a look at importing PDF files into an AutoCAD drawing. I'll begin by going to the Insert tab, and in the Import panel, select PDF Import. I'll browse for the file that I wish to bring in. In this case, I have a printed version of a drawing that was printed to PDF, but I don't have the original DWG file available, so I will instead import the PDF. I'll select it, then choose Open. The Import PDF dialog appears with several different options. I can choose to specify an insertion point. If I do so, when I click OK, I will just simply click somewhere to place this drawing. In this particular case, it makes more sense for this just to, just to go in at the origin of 0, 0, so I'm going to leave that option unchecked. We can also adjust the scale and the rotation, but in this case, I want it to match the original, so I'm not going to adjust those. We can select the types of objects to import. First of all, vector geometry, which is going to be the lines and arcs and circles, etc. Any solid fills, if I have any solid hatches. True type text, so any text that is placed in there. And then any raster images. We have three different options for how to handle layers, and we're going to use the initial one here of use PDF layers and see the result of that. And then we have several different import options down here at the bottom, and I'm going to begin by clearing each of those, and we'll look at several of those as we go along here. I'll go ahead and click OK, and it will import the drawing for me. As you can see, I now have AutoCAD objects here. I want to take a look at the layers and how those came in. So if I take a look at my layers, since I chose the PDF layer option, it gives me layers for each type of object, but it gives me the prefix of PDF on each one. I can easily go and modify those if I wish. We'll take a look at a few of the things that happen when we import something. This particular one, we've got some dimensions, and I just want to double check them. So using my measure tool, I'm going to measure this object. And using the quick measure, I can actually see the one and a half inch and the four and three quarters is exactly right. Notice when I selected dimension, it actually brought those in just as separate little segments. It wasn't smart enough to create an associative dimension out of those. Also notice that if I pick a hidden line, each dash is its own object, which is not typically what we want. So we'll see how we can modify that. And then notice that most lines are brought in as individual objects. In this particular case, these two were joined, but some of these other ones weren't joined. So we can actually have AutoCAD join some of these objects for us as well. I'm going to undo so that we can re-import this and then see the effect of a few of those options here. So once more, I will go to Insert, then PDF Import, then select my PDF. This time, rather than creating all of those layers, I'm going to have everything brought into the current layer. I'm also going to choose to join line and arc segments, so that should convert some of these lines into connected polylines. I'm also going to have it apply line weight properties, so if there were any line weight thickness properties associated with that, those should appear as well. And then I'm going to infer line types from collinear dashes. So that will then take these hidden lines and join them into one instead of having each dash be its own line segment. I'll go ahead and click OK. And as you can see, I still have all the different colors, but if I select something, you can see that they are all brought in on the zero layer, but their properties have been overridden. So that's the effect of choosing the current layer option. Also notice that these dashes now appear as, at least on the straight ones, selectable objects. Looks like it still wasn't sure what to do with the ones on the curves, but the straight ones at least converted. And then you'll also see that I've got some joined polylines now as well. Once more, I'm going to undo so that we can re-import and see a couple of more options. So back to insert, then PDF import. Select my PDF here. This time I'm going to choose the Create Object Layers option. This will create different categories of layers. And then this time I'm going to import this as a block rather than separate selectable objects. Once more, I want to make sure that my dash lines convert into one selectable line. And I'm going to go ahead and choose Convert Solid Fills to Hatches. I'm not really going to see any 
change though because I don't really have any solid fills. I do have some hatch patterns here, but as we'll see, they're still just individually selectable lines. So I'll go ahead and click OK. And now you can see that this is actually a block. Of course, I can explode it if I want. So I'm going to do just that. And as I mentioned earlier, as you can see, the hatching is still individual objects. So not a whole lot we can do about that one. I can delete and rehatch if I want. Then finally, if I take a look at my layers, it just created new layers based on categories of objects. So as you can see, there's a geometry one, a solid fills one, and a PDF text one. In conclusion, if you have access to a PDF file, but not the original AutoCAD drawing file, we can now import those into AutoCAD using the Import PDF tool. That concludes this look at importing PDFs in AutoCAD.